hushed tones. ASMR. Oh, hey there. Did you have an appointment to see us today? No? Not a problem. I'll be free in just a moment if you'd like to take a seat. Did you want any tea or coffee? Coffee? Okay, and how do you take it? Okay. Excellent. Yeah, not a problem. Lucy, would you mind? Thank you so much. Be with you very shortly. Okay, well, my name's Haley. I'm happy to see you in our office today. Uh, how can I help you? Okay. Wow, okay. That's amazing. I hardly ever hear of anybody winning any money on the lottery, so congratulations, that's fantastic. Okay. And so you're thinking of moving somewhere new. Excellent. Okay, absolutely I'm here to help you. Um, well, first of all, I have a checklist of things that I would like to ask you. Um, and this is so that I can get a, a feel about what your dream home looks like. And after we talk about things and maybe I'll say something that jogs your memory or say something that really triggers something for you and then you might remember something key that you really want in your new place and then we'll have a look at some of our options and if there are any that you like we can arrange appointments to view them. Does that sound okay? Excellent, okay. Well, first off are you looking to buy or rent. Excellent. Alright, so first off, have you thought about any neighbourhoods in particular that you have a feel for? Okay, open to? So none in particular that you've had a look around, know the area? or any that you know that you don't want to live in. Okay. We can look in those areas, certainly. But if there's something else that we have on offer, then I'll let you know. So are you looking to purchase a house or a flat? A house? Excellent. And do you prefer detached, semi-detached, terraced housing? Okay, detached. And open to semi-detached. Okay. And how many bedrooms are you thinking that you would like? Mm -hmm. Well, some of our properties do come with a separate office anyway, and it's not included in the number of bedrooms, so you can always turn a bedroom into an office, or you can just keep it as a bedroom, we can have a look. But in terms of the number of rooms you just want as a bedroom, yeah, okay, and that's the minimum. And number of bathrooms as well. Always ensuite in the main. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. And let's 
the other important rooms in the house that you feel you would really like. So an office is quite important to you. Open plan at all or... Okay. And utility room. That's always a big one with some of our customers. Okay. And outdoor space. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any pets? Okay. Okay. And is that just a back garden or would you like some space out the front as well? Okay. Yes, parking is important. Um, may I ask how many cars will be parked at the property on a regular basis? Okay. And would you prefer a garage or... Okay. Excellent. And the kind of home that you want, would you like it to be more modern, contemporary, do you prefer traditional, rural style homes or anything like that? Okay. Some people don't always come in with a preference and they'll like more than one. And then we'll show them a few homes and that's sort of where they make up their minds. Nothing from the 1960s, <laughs> okay. Oh, you grew up in one, okay. Something a little bit different to what you know, okay. Right, are there any special features in your house that you have dreamt that you would like? Mm-hmm, okay. Fireplaces, mm-hmm. Fireplace is always good. Built in, mm hmm. Okay. Okay, and in terms of those electronics, if they're not already in place, would you be willing to hear quotes if we get them on how to install them? Which room in the house do you feel like you'll be spending the most amount of time in? Okay. And would you say that's usually your favourite room in the house? The, the room that you care the most about? Okay. So we'll definitely make sure that that one's right, shall we? <laughs> okay. And then in terms of the area, you said you're free to, to explore some new areas, which is fantastic. Um, is there anything that you want us to bear in mind in terms of whether it's near a school or anything like that? Maybe transportation, public transportation, maybe near work. Okay, where do you work, can I ask? And how much of the commute would you be willing to do, maximum? Okay. Okay. Okay, and then in terms of the social aspect of the area that you would like to live in, is there anything that you have a priority for? For example, a shopping centre, maybe a gym or a park. 
Okay. Is nightlife important to you? Mm -hmm. So blessed with that, my strength in particular. <laughs> Don't blame you, it's a favourite of mine as well. Okay. And finally, would you like the house to be completely finished, ready to move in? Or would you like one where there's a little bit to do, a little bit of work that you can do on the house? Move in ready? Mm-hmm. And finally, is there anything that you would like to tell me about your dream house that I haven't already asked? Okay. Well, fantastic. So, before I look up some houses for you, I'm just going to enter these details into our database, make it a little bit easier for some of our search. And also, I'd like to take some details from you, if that's okay. Thank you. It's just acting a little slow. Ah, there we are. Okay. So, could I please take your first and last names? Okay. And... Your current address, please. Where do you currently work? The, the company? Mm -hmm. Okay. And your date of birth, please. And, sorry, could I ask how long did you live at your previous property? Okay. Alright. And now could I have your partner's first name? Does your partner live at the same address? Okay. And where do they work? And will you be the only people occupying the property? Finally, their date of birth as well, please. Thank you. Mm 
Okay. Filled this one many a time. I know exactly where to click. <laughs> um, okay. And now a contact telephone number. And for your partner. just going to fill in the fields that we discussed below. It shouldn't take a moment. Almost finished. <laughs> um, they're leaving to town, aren't they? <laughs> hmm, it's a big town celebration. Some kind of anniversary. Unfortunately, I've forgotten which one. <laughs> It's nice, it brings the people of the town together. It's hard to do that when it's not Christmas, but something like this will. Okay, one set. Yep. Okay, and then finally the big question. <laughs> Um, what is your range of budget? I'd like a, a minimum and then an absolute maximum. Okay. Okay. Now for the surrounding areas, that's actually a, a very good price. We should be able to get you something very nice for that. Okay. And we're about ready. It's just having a little think. So it's brought up some locations for me. Um, so I think I need this desk. Um, a 
okay to show you on the computer. But it's quite nice actually, isn't it, to have a book? And you're free to take this home with you. If you want to arrange some viewings, you can still have it. Um, and if you find any more when you're sitting at home, you can just let me know. Um, yeah, this was produced by our company. And I'll just have a look through with you. We'll see what what we find. Alright. what we have here. starts here. So because your budget is so generous, we can look at some very exciting properties. Um, I was going to suggest this one as the first property. As you can see, this is the kitchen. It's very nice, very modern. Um, I haven't been by this one once myself but my colleague has been and this was a recently renovated apartment sorry, house of course recently renovated and they renovated the kitchen they renovated two of the bedrooms and the ensuite and downstairs bathroom so most of the house is brand spanking new and the rest of the house was already done up to a fantastic standard so just read you what it says here. This is a stylish and modern house in Adelina Mews in Balham. And it's a stunning four bedroom home, so the right number of bedrooms, and located in a quiet close between Streeton and Balham. And it is really great living in a close. I live in one myself. It means you don't get a lot of through traffic so, um, completely refurbished, as I said, and it's a contemporary home, like you said, and it does have the open plan kitchen and lounge, like we wanted. There are the two bathrooms, and there is parking available. Um, the parking is not in the garage, it is in fact just out on the drive. Um, it's not unusual for this to be the case. Uh, many of the houses that we have here have that just because space is quite the commodity. Um, so the area is very nice. Um, I know it myself. And there are a few good parks there. It does have good access to um, public transportation if you're interested in the train. 
train is maybe a 10 minute walk from this place. Um, the train itself will go into London, Victoria. And from there you can take the, I think it's the Victoria line and the Southern District line. So um, it's usually very handy. The buses as well are great. There is a bus stop that should be re relatively close if you were interested in taking a bus anywhere. Um, there's also a very good taxi rank, of course, near the train station, so you can always take a taxi home. Um, the home itself feels very light and airy. The owners have done it up incredibly well, from what my colleague has told me. And it's move-in ready, not a thing to be done with it. So I definitely think that this could be a viable option for you. Um, let's see, in terms of what you said, there is some outdoor space. I think it's eight by eight feet, um, which it might be okay for you and your pets. You said that they're small dogs, so um, all of it is grass with some flower beds. Um, be up to you if you were to change that, of course. And then for the special features, unfortunately, they don't currently have a fireplace, um, but the living room is particularly spacious, so you can always look into trying to install something, seeing if that's possible. This is slightly under your budget, and because the rest of it is already done to a fantastic standard, you might have some room to make some of these changes for the special features. There is a separate utility room, which contains a washer and a dryer, which is unusual for some of our British properties, but it's very popular. Um, and then lastly, it has, let's see, anything else? Um, the office, of course. So there is an office. It is on the ground floor and it is not the biggest office, but it is certainly enough for one person. Um, so if you did decide you wanted to convert one of the bedrooms, the bedrooms are very good sizes, very generous. And so I'm sure if you would prefer to change it so that you had a downstairs guest bedroom that was a little bit smaller and then an upstairs office, that could certainly be done. Okay, so let's have a look at what else there is on offer for you. Lettings and sales. Let's see. Okay. Next, I'd like to show you this property here. chain-free property, which means good things for you. It's very possible that there won't be a problem with selling it to you. It's on Union Road in Clapham, and of course Clapham Junction train station is excellent for getting into London, Victoria. On the fast train, London, Victoria is the next station. Um, this particular home is not necessarily near the train station. You might decide to take public transportation to the train station, or perhaps you even take your car. It is doable by bike as well. Um, it does have only two rooms, but these are nice double bedrooms, and it's a split level conversion, and it has two large reception rooms but it does have the feature fireplace and it also has a bathroom with separate shower cubicles. So a little bit of indulgence there. And obviously it is offered without the chain, which might be something to consider. It's up to you. Um, it also has an office, so you wouldn't have to uh, change one of the bedrooms into an office. 
and of course it does in the living room have that nice large bay window that has the love seat up against it which was also one of those things that you mentioned you wanted unfortunately it is an apartment as well so with this one there are pros and there are cons one of the big pros of course is that it is well under your budget so might be something to consider we don't want to rule too many things out at the end if you just want to let me know which ones caught your fancy we'll go further with those let's see what else we have here places that are on offer here are apartments um, it's just the area because it's very popular a lot of places were turned into apartments or apartments were built so and they can be quite expensive <laughs> Okay, I think I found another one. Here we have the Trinity Gardens house in Brixton. Brixton's a very good area for getting into London, it's very convenient. It has the four bedrooms and it is a mid terrace house. So it has a space, spacious reception and it does have a lot of period features. Um, it has a uh, fireplace, not in the living room, but in the bedroom. It is a working fireplace, so you're more than welcome to use it. And the main bedroom comes with an ensuite. The other three bedrooms share a bathroom, and there is also an additional bathroom downstairs. This pictured here is the office. And as you can see, it has built in shelves already, and it has enough space for a sofa and TV. Um, it would appear that the current owners have also got a bunk bed in there. Um, I don't know if that will be staying, probably not. Might be because they felt that after a, a hard day's work they couldn't even be bothered to climb the stairs. <laughs> but it is a nice property. As I said, it's period. It's not contemporary, but it has been done up to a very nice standard. As much as you would expect of any modern London uh, house or apartment. The outside space is a little on the small side. Um, I believe there's really just a small patio out back. Um, but this is very near a park and it's a very nice park with wide open spaces. So plenty of space for you to run around with the dogs. There is a utility room, it is small and off the back, but it's there. There's a, a washing machine in it at the moment. There is enough room to put in a dryer, should you feel you want one. Um, it's fairly close to public transportation, very good for restaurants and um, for shopping as well. The shopping centre isn't close, but there are some individual shops that you can get to. Um, again, well under your budget this time. So, if you would like to make changes, totally doable, and you can also save as well. 
sein können. thing is finding a place with enough legumes. <laughs> okay, so this is a little bit different. Um, if you are more concerned with having outdoor space, we have here this house. As you can see, it is a detached house, and you would own all of it, and it has a lot of open space. It's on Biddlestead Lane in Warlingham, so it's a little bit out of London, but still perfectly within the amount of distance you're willing to commute. Um, it's nearer the top end of your budget. But it's a beautiful house, as you can see. It's a 1740s house with three bedrooms, two receptions, and it's basically a cottage. And it has a quarter of an acre of gardens with lots of panoramic views. So even though you were looking for something modern, Again, on the inside, it is done up to a fantastic modern contemporary style. Um, but on the outside, it just looks really nice and quaint. So it's a little bit charming. Um, as I said, it has the three bedrooms. Um, they are spacious. Um, they're probably not as light as a contemporary house, simply because the windows uh, have not been enlarged, enlarged more than what they were originally, not too much more than that, so, um, but because you get the panoramic aspect, you get sunlight in all aspects of your house at all times of the day, uh, obviously depending on when the sun sets and rises, but has two reception areas, which is fantastic, you can have one place for entertaining guests, another for a family room and it has an office that they've added onto the back um, there is parking available again it's outside but lots of room for parking um, there is a converted garage at the moment I think that has actually been used more as a shed <laughs> to store things um, but there is plenty of parking outside if you would wish to use the garage as another space or you can actually use it for your vehicles. Um, it's recently converted. So um, the utilities, I don't believe there's a utility room unfortunately in this house. Um, but it does have all of the, the mod cons so you you won't have the separate space, but you will have everything included. It's just a little something different to think about, just to, to jog your creative duties. Let's see. What else can we do here? Let's try and find something a bit modern as well, so that you've got all the options. places here which you might be interested in we'll first talk about this one and then this one down here so 
um, you can have a piece of paradise in Croydon. Both of these are in Croydon. This is in Croydon and this is South Croydon. Um, the houses in Croydon tend to be a little bigger. You get a little bit more for your money. Um, the guide price is near the top end of your budget for this house. But this detached house is a bungalow, um, which may be something you're interested in, maybe not, but it is cheaper as well. So, um, talking about this one, in Ballard's Way, it's in the extremely sought after Ballard's Way, and it's a four bedroom detached family home. Um, there is a spacious lounge, as well as a music or study room, um, a dining area, which is separate, a luxury kitchen and breakfast room, and direct access into the conservatory, and an ensuite to the master bedroom. As you can see, this is the front garden with uh, parking, plenty of parking, and then they also have a rear garden as well. Unfortunately, no garage, but lots of space to park and off the road. Um, the lounge, as you can see, is just spacious <laughs> and doesn't even really cover it. There's lots of room in here. Um, the windows are all obviously double glazed, but they're also very large. So it lets in a good amount of light. Um, as you can see, they've gone for quite a lot of wood in the property. I don't know how you feel about that particularly, but that is how it's been done up at the moment. Um, as you can see, the kitchen as well, with the diner just off to the side, the dining area. All very spacious, lots of room. And this is the exit to the outside. Okay. And there is the conservatory off to the side, which is a lovely additional room. I'm sure you'll agree. Um, fantastic, again, for light and for spending the summer months. Um, the area here, there are a couple of good schools nearby, I believe. They're private schools. Um, which is not something on your list, but maybe in the future, something to think about. Um, there is quite a bit of open space. It is public, but none of them are parks in particular. Um, the shops and restaurants are not a walking distance, but there is a bus that will take you, should you so wish. And obviously, by driving, it's mm, maybe a 10 minute drive. So not too terrible. Um, plenty of room for your your dogs to run around in, which is fantastic. Uh, utilities has all of the utilities. Doesn't have a separate room, believe it or not. It has everything. You said that, but um, all of the appliances are are recently put in. There is a office. Um, that does come off of this. Um, it's nowhere near as big as the living room, obviously, but it is a good sized office. It has some built in bookcases ready, so uh, it's probably a good option if you do want to hit that maximum budget because it is a fantastically spacious property. Again, it's contemporary, but it's also done in a certain style with lots of wood so up to you if that's your thing and then the bungalow how do you feel about bungalows okay well this is certainly very modern um it's got three bedrooms but again two reception rooms um it has a, a kitchen diner so not separate rooms but enough space for the both of them and it does have a rear garden, which is always great. Um, the kitchen looks, I think you'll agree, quite
cool one, spectacular. And the living room as well is done up very, very well. It has lovely patio doors that go out into the garden. So you can let the little dogs run around and you can stay inside in the comfort of your home. Um, this one doesn't, hasn't got um, an office. Uh, so whether that's something that you wouldn't want to compromise on is up to you. Um, perhaps turning one of the three bedrooms into a spare room slash office. Um, all of the bedrooms are very spacious, so it is doable. Um, it's just that because it is cheaper, it might be a better option for you uh, if you want to spend your money in other ways or on other things. But as you can see, it is a very nice house. It has a lot of skylights that bring in the light from above, uh, so it is. Um, quite a lot of garden. The current owners do like gardening so you could turn it into just grass or add a patio or just keep it as it is if you yourself like gardening. So um, let's see it's in a it's in a gated development so if you want that extra safety aspect that might be something worth considering as well. And it is close in proximity to Croydon Town Centre and local amenities, so easier to get around and get home to, perhaps, than this one. Although this one's a little bit... It's in a, a little bit of a nicer area, I would say. Um, but yes, still a lovely area. And so, as it says, suits any lifestyle. I think we'll look at just a couple more and then let's see if any of them took your fancy. Um, should we look for some more modern or would you like more modern ones? There are some lovely terrace houses but I definitely understand the appeal of not having those neighbours quite so close. Um, let's see. People do mostly come in here looking for apartments and flats actually. Um, a lot of them want balconies. <laughs> Don't blame them at all. Um, you can get some very nice views you see. Um, Let's see if there's something a little special that we can finish off with. one might be interesting, let's see. Mm -hmm. It's again modern on the inside, um, but period on the outside. I might come back to it. I think you might like it, but let's just see what else we have on offer. We do have some incredibly expensive properties. I can actually show you this one, which I've just turned to. As you can see, 2.5 million. <laughs> and that's a beautiful property. Six bedrooms. But I think I'd need to win about eight lotteries to actually have the opportunity there. 
um, hmm, such is my luck. Let's see. There are some very lovely properties to rent, um, obviously just because of how popular this area is. Um, once somebody buys a property, they tend to hold on to it and they'll just rent it out. So it's not all that often to have lots of properties come on the market that are affordable to people. So, okay. Well, I think I'll go back to that last one, see if I can find it again. I don't think there's anything I missed. Like I said, this one is fairly period on the outside, but is modern on the inside. It just tends to be what things are nowadays because people like that style so much. Okay. Um, so this is the property. Let me just show you there one up here and as you can see there is a good amount of outdoor space uh, it's meadow close in Sutton and Sutton has a very nice high street um, and this is a little bit further out but you should get some nice peace and quiet because of that Again, excellent transportation links um, and this is well under budget as well so three bedrooms three bedrooms and has a lounge and a kitchen diner um, there is an office it is uh, a nice room with really big windows it lets in a lot of the light and it's always lovely to look over this beautiful garden. Um, it has a separate annex as well. So should you wish to get out of the house for some peace and quiet, you can go to the other part of your house that's outside. <laughs> and that you can use for anything. You could even turn it into an office and use the office in here as something else entirely. Um, it does have a small section, it's not a separate room, but there is a designated section for the utilities and it is slightly cornered off. Um, it's a semi-detached house, not detached, but semi-detached and also has parking as well that's off-road, but no garage. Um, and as you can see from these pictures, it's been done up to a very high contemporary standard. In the kitchen, you have the breakfast bar, right here. And you have a light and airy living room here. Um, it's got fantastic windows that bring in that much light. Um, the living room and kitchen and diner are all open plan, as you could see. And then the garden is kind of an L shape and curves around the house. Um, the annex at the moment is this part here. It's a good size and it is at the moment being used as a playroom. So a bit of a game room. Um, entirely up to you what you do it with though. Um, very nice restaurants in the area. Do you know Sutton well? 
Mm -hmm. um, lovely area, nice restaurant, um, some nightlife, but nothing too hectic. Um, some nice pubs as well. Most of these places have a few nice pubs. Um, is there anything else that I can tell you about these properties that you would like to know? Okay. Well, let's schedule some appointments, shall we? Which properties would you like to take a visit? Okay. Yep. You can in that one too. Excellent. And as I said, you can take this home with you. If you find some more properties in there that you think really grab your fancy, just let me know. Just bear in mind that we have alternate pages for lettings and for sale might be some very nice to let properties but they're not for sale unfortunately uh, okay and when would you like to view them uh, during the week at the weekend okay on a Saturday is next Saturday okay okay one of the properties is not available to view next Saturday but um, let me give them a call. I'll see what I can do. Okay. That sounds fine to me. I'll walk through all of them with you. And I'll make notes about anything that you need to know. Anything that you ask, you can always ask the owners themselves. Okay, um, the owners won't be in, but it's questions I can bring back to them afterwards. Okay, all right, so I have that booked in for next Saturday. Um, just arrive here sometime between. 9 and 11 in the morning. I'm happy for you to come in anytime during then. And we will go and see the first properties. I'll have all the keys ready. Um, and again, just let me know if there's anything else that comes up in the meantime. We also have a website. And if you would like to take a look at that, feel free. Most of what we have is currently in this book. But if anything comes up, Within the next few days, it'll be on our website first. So this is for you. And I think I have everything. So thank you so much for coming in today. I'm very excited to be helping you find this new home. Um, if you have any questions at all, please email me. Um, my business card is just included over there more than welcome to call me anytime during the day between now and Saturday and if there's any problems for Saturday you just let me know okay okay is there anything else I can help you with today okay well again thank you so much for coming in and I look forward to seeing you on Saturday take care bye